Boy, we had an active night across portions of northeast Kansas. We had some very heavy rainfall in western portions of the area. All of this activity has since pushed off to the north and east for us, leaving us with a little bit of a break in the rainfall so far this morning. Just a few scattered light showers still as we wake up this morning. But as we go throughout the rest of the day today, we'll likely see several more chances for scattered showers and storms. So we still have this flash flood watch in the lime green counties here that goes until 7 p.m. this evening. We still have an ongoing flash flood warning for the counties in this dark green color here that goes until 5:45 a.m. this morning. So if you're out and about and you come across maybe some water on the roadways, it's always a great idea not to go through that. You're going to want to go around, maybe find an alternate route this morning if you come across any flooding on the roads. As we go throughout the rest of the day today, this, the rain that we saw last night could pose a problem if we get any more rain later on this afternoon, and it does look pretty likely that we'll see some more scattered showers and storms. We picked up over two and a half inches of rain in Manhattan, over an inch and a half of rain in Fort Riley, and we picked up about a quarter of an inch in Topeka as we went throughout the overnight hours last night. So we'll likely see some more rain as we go throughout the day today. So here's a look at our future track starting this at 730 this morning. It is picking up on that lull in the activity that we have right now, and as we go throughout the rest of the morning and eventually into the late morning into the early afternoon. That's when we could start to see some more showers and storms redeveloping for us. All this activity will continue to push off to the north and really follow the same areas. So if you happen to get under a storm that has some heavy rainfall, it might be likely that you could see some more rain directly after that later on this afternoon and into this evening. So at about 1130 PM, picking up on some more scattered showers and storms working their way into the area and eventually into the early morning hours on Tuesday. This activity lingers for us before finally pushing off to the east and giving us a little bit of a break later on tomorrow afternoon. So we do have several chances for those scattered showers and storms throughout the next couple of days. Temperatures right now are in the low to mid 60s for the most part. We are still picking up on some upper 60s, even 70 degrees in Lawrence. We're at 65 degrees in Manhattan, 63 degrees in Marysville, Clay Center and Junction City, and we're at 64 degrees in Emporia this morning. Now we will warm up a little bit today, but because we'll have a lot of clouds, because we'll have those rain or that rain in the area will likely only make it up into the low to mid 70s today. Overnight tonight will drop back into the lower 60s and then for tomorrow we should make it up into the middle 70s but we'll eventually start to warm things up even further for the last half of the week. We do have a couple more chances for rain as we go throughout the middle part of the week specifically Wednesday and Thursday. We have this really large storm system a low pressure system that's just to our south and it got cut off from the main jet stream. So it's really just sitting there spinning for us, and that's going to give us several chances for showers and storms over the next few days. We start to warm things up Wednesday into Thursday into the upper 70s. Eventually for Friday and into the upcoming weekend, we'll finally see some sunshine and temperatures will climb up into the upper 70s to near 80 degrees by Friday, and eventually we'll warm things up into the lower 80s for both Saturday and Sunday. Now, since we did see that heavy rain overnight specifically, in Geary and Riley counties. That's actually where we find our KSNT news reporter James Ryan. He is live now in Manhattan. James, what's it looking like out there this morning?